My kids love playing with toy cars. I wanted to build something that they can use while they play with their cars. I wanted it to be educational, something that would teach them about traffic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a custom toy traffic light. Stick around. Hi everyone, Ruben here. Today I'm going to show you how I built this. This is a custom toy traffic light that I built for my kids. It features three LEDs, green, yellow, and red, a power button to turn it on and off, uh, and it's housed in a custom traffic light 3D model that I created using Tinkercad and printed on my 3D printer. Uh, I'll leave a link to the traffic light model in the video description. It's very simple to use. Just flip the power switch and the LEDs will light up. The green LED turns on for 30 seconds, then the yellow LED turns on for 10 seconds, and finally the red LED will turn on for 15 seconds, and it'll just continue looping until you turn the power off. The circuit behind this is very simple. It's powered by an ATtiny 13A 8-bit microcontroller. I wrote a simple traffic light program using MPLAB X and programmed the chip with the MPLAB Picket 4. You can find a link to the source code in the description below. I won't go over how to use MPLAB and program the chip in this video, but I will create a, uh, a video on that topic later. Now, let me break this apart so you can see how it's built and I'll go over all the components in the circuit. The traffic light model is made up of six different pieces that all snap together. The top section houses the LEDs. It has a front plate that snaps off with three holes for the five millimeter LEDs. This snaps into this housing, which has a hole for the wiring to go through. Then this middle section is two pieces that also snap together. This hides the wires and there's two sections in it here and here where it snaps into place with the top and bottom piece. The base holds the power button uh, the battery and all the electronic components that make up the circuit. The top is removable so you can change the battery and the middle section snaps into place through a hole in the top. So the way this all looks together is put the middle section, slide the wires, put the back plate on that. Uh, come on. And then it snaps at the base and at the top. There you go. Now let's talk about the circuit. The traffic light circuit is very simple. It's powered by an ATtiny 13A, uses a three volt CR2032 battery, and it's controlled by a power switch. Here it is on a breadboard. Right now it's getting power off my benchtop power supply. The green LED connects to PB0. The yellow LED connects to PB1. And that's using a 48 ohm resistor to drop the voltage to a safe level. The red LED connects to PB2. That's also using a 48 ohm resistor. I didn't need to use a resistor for my green LED because that one tolerates three volts. Check your LED's data sheets for the voltage requirements. Not all LEDs are the same. So as you can see, very simple schematic. This is what it looks like all assembled on a piece of perf board. I used a vertical CR2032 holder, makes it easier to replace the battery. The AT Tiny sits on an eight pin socket. I recommend you always use this socket since it makes it easy to remove the chip if you ever need to replace it or reprogram it. The perf board also holds the resistors and the wiring for the LEDs and the power switch. On the LED side, I had to use shrink wrap to prevent a short. So each wire has shrink wrap around it. And then I joined all the negative leads together with one wire. So it's pretty simple to build one of these. Now my kids have a working toy traffic light to use while they play with their cars. You can find a full tutorial on how to build one of these on my site, which I will link in the description. Let me know in the comments if you build one for yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you found it useful, and I'll see you in the next video.